Cool, so my name is Fergus McLean, I work here at HMV and I'm in charge of a new project uh, basically getting local bands and artists um, involved with the store, getting their CDs in store and getting them to play in store. So it's an exciting new thing that we're trying to do. And today there's a band just setting up? Yes, we've got Black Monsoon downstairs all the way over from the Netherlands. So it's not just local, we're just trying to go for as much as we can, looking overseas, just trying to make it as exciting as possible basically. And what, what do you think is going to happen with this? Because I think you've had the Sound of the Sirens here previously. Yeah, we've had um, Sound of the Sirens, um, Wildwood Kin in recently, um, loads of regular local bands like Chris Osler, Delta 88, Rockabilly. We've had all sorts. Um, we're trying to go from all different genres and we're just trying to create an exciting music scene within the shop because that's what HMV should be known for. Um, and under the new owners, that's what we're trying to get known for is just more exciting as a music venue as well as a music shop. And I understand you're going to have the Simitones. Yeah, so um, we were in talks to have the Simitones playing over Christmas, but we can't do that anymore because Christmas shopping's really hectic. But um, There's we... quite a lot of them. Yeah, there's a, it's a nine-piece, so uh, fitting them in will be a challenge, but something that we're not going to shy away from. Uh, hopefully have them in in January. Um, we'll just have to see how it goes. Well, I look forward to that. It would be good to have a date on that. Yes, well, as soon as there is one, you'll be the first to know. Don't worry about that. Because they, they are going to be doing a benefit for Phonic. I yeah. think it's in February, sometime yeah. like that. Yeah, and they've got an al their album release, obviously. They've got the 10 Feet Tour is going to be out on final um, around this time, I believe, so it's going to be promoting that as well. I, I just wonder if Doris Day is still a big name in HMV. Are you selling a lot of Doris Day? <laughs> I mean, I, that's the question I didn't expect, but yeah, yeah, we are. We have, we have uh, lots and lots of that, boxes and stuff, and I can show you to it any minute. If well, you want. I, I only asked because... Um, Perhaps, Perhaps, Perhaps is one of the tracks on their CD, but when it came to the Vivo um, video, yeah. because Vivo have got connections, they were able to sample Doris Day on it. Right, OK. And it sounds really good. Yeah. And my guess is if they re-advertised it as Doris Day in enormous letters uh, with the Simitones in smaller type, right. it would sell to a completely different audience. Well, I don't know if HMV's up well, for this Well, you, you should be doing my job. I should have the camera at this point. If this is what you're, you're a bit of a branding king. But, uh, yeah, I can see that. I can see that happening. You could see that working. I can see it working, yeah. And well, you've got that on video. do you think we should put that to the Simitons and see, see what they think? I mean, well, they, I, might, they might be very upset by this suggestion. They might, but, I mean, everyone loves Doris Day, so I, I don't see why they would be upset by it. But OK. I'll well, give them a call. All right, we'll ask them. We'll ask <laughs> OK, them. great. And then... The other thing, I'm I'm still quite interested in CDs and the sort of depth of range of CDs, mm -hmm. but I notice where the CDs used to be upstairs, it's going very vinyl. The vinyl seems to be taking up more and more space. Yeah, well, we had a meeting only last year about how vinyl sales have gone the highest they've been since the mid-90s, um, so it's really come back in as a novelty thing for younger people as well as people who remember them the first time around. Um, CDs are still something we sell, and I'm sure they'll have... Uh, a boost again at some point, but at the moment vinyl is just is just what people want for some reason, and we got to give it to them. Okay, so <laughs> that's, that's the, just the, way that's the answer for that. Yeah, but to, so I think you're losing some sort of depth on the CD range, which may be driving people online. I don't I don't know if you think well, that's I mean, if, going if on. You, if you look out there, um, there is there are loads and loads of CDs, and we we maintain. Um, to always uh, keep the CDs going. The new releases, we, we keep in CDs all the time. Um, there's a back catalogue of, of, of hundreds uh, upon thousands, and if there's, there's not much you could think of we wouldn't have on the CD for you. So okay, okay. you wouldn't have to worry about that one. All right, OK. okay. Well, that, well, that's about four minutes, so that, I think, I think that's, uh, that's a good chunk. That, that's good? Yeah, all OK, right. thank you. Excellent.